Hey there everybody, what is going on? My name is Aditya and welcome back to another brand new video regarding semantic UI. And basically in today's video, I just wanted to talk about, uh, you know, models. So obviously the models are one of the big things in every single framework out there like the foundation, bootstrap, or you know, even some small frameworks like uh, uh, Bulma.css and some frameworks like that so you know this this thing is going to be very important for you if you are trying to learn about the JavaScript and some uh, you know some framework so let's just go ahead and get right into it so you can see I have just that old script that we had written in the last video so I'm just gonna remove this little part right over here well, actually not this complete part, but let's just say this whole part in here and not even this blurring. All right. So, you know, I'm going to remove this one too and let's just go ahead and die right into it. So the first thing that we need while starting a model is, you know, just go ahead and create it anywhere because it's not going to be visible on the page, just like the dimmer. You know, when you create a dimmer, it is not going to be visible on the page directly. So obviously we can go ahead and create it anywhere, anywhere you want. So let's just say dot UI dot uh, model and you know inside this model there will be three different sections but very first of all I just want to go ahead and create a I with the class of close icon all right and the next thing that I want to do is simply just go ahead and put down three things over here now these things may vary very very uh, I guess that's how you say it uh, according to what things you need so like you know you may need the header that's obviously um, you need the content that's 100% accurate you know uh, if you even if you don't have a header for your uh, particular model you need some content inside it or else there is no any use of it and the third thing that you need is action buttons now this is not really compulsory for you but you know some of the times you're just going to be showing them the model hey is this your real email id and they're going to be clicking on either yes or either no so obviously for that we, we are going to be needing that kind of thing so let's just go ahead and get right into the first thing that is the header now inside the header i just have to write one single line okay so let's just say hi there and be sure that you know you don't fuck up with your header like you know you are going to be creating like three different paragraphs inside here and uh, you know some more things uh, like that you cannot do it with the help with the with header because header is going to be the main header just cover the uh, simple topic right over there just don't go ahead and create in a paragraph tag inside the header don't even try it um, I guess you know it will be quite, quite absurd because you're gonna be always needing some content inside of your model so talking about the content here's the next thing we need a content tag now there are two different type of con content tags you know, in semantic UI one of them is image content which is added new in 2.0 now some of you guys have been asking me about make a video about what's new in 2.0 that will be coming out but you know it will be at the end of this complete series and I'll be covering out every single time like semantic UI if it will be updated to 2.3 2.4 I'll be covering that in that particular video but I guess for now you know this is the current version so I guess I'm just gonna be moving on with it so div class content and now you know guess what I can simply put down here image content too but I'm not gonna put down it there right now so inside the content you know you can go ahead and create any amount of paragraphs you want let's just go ahead and type in some lorem ipsum text and you know even without paragraph this is going to be just okay so there you have it that's your complete model uh, you know it's a very basic model though you know you cannot really do so many things with the help of that so what we need to do is uh, if we go ahead and refresh the page obviously the model is not going to be visible to us and as i said put your model anywhere because that is not going to be visible on the page until and unless and you make sure that it is an active model so what we may be doing is dollar dot ui dot model now i want that this it should be a model and inside in here i just want to show this model let's just say 
and there we go that's how exactly this model works now if i click anywhere it just uh, it just turns that off and you know if i click on this close button too it just turns that off it just toggles that particular thing now obviously here are some behaviors being used and i'll be covering that at the end of this little video uh, and you know basically that's how you exactly go ahead and do it with a model so the next thing that we want to see is the action buttons that we are creating so let's just go ahead and create dot actions and inside here i just want to go ahead and put down a few different things like you know um actions the first will be uh you know you can go ahead and put down a few buttons um let's just say this is a neutral button because this button uh, is not going to do anything now i'm just going to go ahead and copy this button three different times oops um this was uh, this was supposed to show to you at the end of this video uh, i'm just going to be talking about that but here you go there are the three neutral buttons and the very important thing about the uh, differentiating between header content and the action buttons is that this little stripe right, right over there you know it just makes it differentiating so if you click on these neutral buttons they do nothing now what i'm going to be doing oops i'm sorry and what I'm going to be doing is let's just say this is a button to say approve that's how semantic UI says it so I'm gonna go ahead and put down the approve button and now if I go ahead and refresh this page I'm sorry and if I click on approve it automatically turns that off but when I click on any of these two neutral buttons it doesn't do anything but when I as soon as I click on this approve button it just goes ahead and turns that off so moving up next you know we can even create a cancel button so that's just as easy as that and there we go now obviously you can go ahead and decorate these buttons as much you want let's just say this should be a green button and this should be a red button and i want to refresh the page and there you go you can go ahead and uh, decorate your buttons anyhow you want now talking about this there's something even more uh, we can go ahead and create in a basic model right over there just like that and if you go ahead and see it now it just looks completely different it is it is like the ghostly thing that is popping up on your page now i'm just for the sake of this video i'm just going to be going ahead and putting down a few content a little content over here i guess i shouldn't have deleted that little thing okay uh, let's just go ahead and refresh the page and now you can see you know backside there's some little content over there but as soon as I click outside of it you know it just toggles that particular thing so talking about that you can click on approve button and obviously we can go ahead and create these buttons to be basic ones like you know just like this these buttons are not showing up properly but these are ghostly buttons that as soon as you hover on they just pop up and let's just go ahead and see how does that go um i guess refreshing is taking a little bit of time because my internet speed is uh, my internet is sort of cracking today i don't know why so that's how it exactly looks like so just see how beautiful does that look you know approve button there's green cancel button there's little red yeah, and i don't think so you can create an inverted model over here um let's just see if we can do that but obviously you can go ahead and mix up the dimmer and the model with the help of these little things yeah you cannot create the inverted model right over there and that is it for the model but you know there's some one more thing that i even wanted to talk about in the dimmers video well inside of this model whatever the arguments that we are passing in is it just completely depends on what semantic ui has defined for us so let's just go ahead and see what exactly semantic ui has to say for us when you go on the usage page of semantic ui's particular element like let's just say i want to go for the dimmer um and i want to click on usage page so obviously of what you can see over here is that it shows you some of these things and then when you go down it under the behavior tab it just shows down some of the very very different things that you might not even know about so what these things are actually are 
are these little toggle thingies right over there so you know as soon as you see it uh, show you can use it instead of toggle hide you can use you can use set opacity to the particular opacity you know uh, if you don't know who, what opacity is just go ahead and see some photoshop videos you you might understand what exactly the opacity is you can uh, use this create which creates a new dimmer in dimmable context and there are so many so many options right over there now most of these options are going to be used when you are creating the application with the back end and not mostly with the front end you know this this has a lots of effects but I'll, I'll be getting over them i guess this channel is completely dedicated to the web development and i'm gonna be sharing you with you guys every single thing that i know and regarding the model there are, there is just one thing that i wanted to show you guys which is right over here show dimmer hide dimmer now you can actually go ahead and show that particular dimmer to the user by simply saying show dimmer and obviously it was popping up that particular dimmer if you had a page dimmer over there it would have dimmed that page down the background would have been blurred and actually that kind of effects can be mixed inside with the semantic ui and you know semantic ui is kind of a minecraft type of thing uh, you know you can go ahead and craft two different things to make it one so just like in minecraft you know you can go ahead and build anything that you want it is just completely depending on you here too you can build anything that you want it just completely depends on how you take it so obviously i guess that is going to be it for this video just go ahead and go through these things and if you don't know what exactly this is just you know if it is getting from the top of your head just leave it like that i i don't i don't think so that you you should even care about these little things uh when you really need them actually i do not even remember all of these things whenever i need them i just go on their website and i just check out what exactly does that work how exactly does that work like i don't even know like uh, a few things in here like i don't even know shape i don't know what exactly is a uh, nag so obviously i don't use these things i'll be creating a video about the nag most probably uh, even though i don't know how exactly does that really work but you know i don't really love it okay it doesn't even work what the hell oh nag is a kind of that a uh, little thingy right that comes right over there so obviously it needs some documentation slash recording that uh, that is they are given i never ever cleared the concept of what exactly the nag is and how exactly does that work but i guess you know this semantic ui it is it is going to be a lot more fun if you are really learning it curiously so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you just loved this video just go ahead and slap that like button and see you in the next one and yeah don't forget to subscribe too peace out